channel for physics. Please subscribe my channel. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Physics Partner. Motion graphs are a fundamental concept in physics and can be a challenging topic for many students to understand. With the complexity of the subject and the intricate mathematical calculations involved, it's no wonder that many students struggle to grasp the concept. However, fear not, in this video we will be introducing you to Virtual Labs, a revolutionary motion graph tool that makes learning and understanding motion graph easier than ever. So without wasting time, let's perform some virtual lab and try to understand different types of graphs associated with motion. So let's understand the different types of graph with the help of this virtual lab. On my left side, you can see the speedometer, which will show the value of the speed of the car. The first graph we are studying is the motion with constant velocity. And we will study three different graphs. Number one is the graph of covered distance with respect to time. Second will be the graph of velocity with respect to time. And third with the graph of acceleration with respect to time. And finally, we will compare all three. So let's start with the constant velocity and see how graph is going to be generated. So you can see I started with the fixed velocity and you can see here the distance is going to be increased. So whenever you create a graph of a motion with constant velocity, the distance time graph will be a straight line which will show some inclined or gradient. So if you calculate the gradient, you can also get the value of velocity. So you can see right now how much distance has been covered is 0.058 kilometers. Let's compare with other. Let's see the velocity time graph with the same value. You can see here velocity graph will be parallel to the time because there is no change in velocity. For example, it start with 5. So it is always be 5. It is constant throughout the journey. So there is no change in it. What about acceleration? We know that with constant velocity, there is no acceleration. So there will be no graph because there is no acceleration produced because the car is moving with the constant velocity. If you compare all three, we can see the distance time graph for motion with constant velocity will be a gradient, whereas the velocity time graph will be the straight horizontal parallel line to the time and there is no acceleration. So there is no value of acceleration. You can see acceleration is continuously zero with the time spending because time never stops. So uh, there will be indication of time, but there is no acceleration. Let's compare with different other velocities. If I increase the velocity, you can see my gradient will be more towards the Y axis. This will show the velocity has been increased. You can see the velocity graph. So this one is comparatively slower. The blue one you can see is the fastest and the orange one will be considered as the slowest in the graph. So this is about motion with constant velocity. Now let's move to the graph motion with constant acceleration. So let's see how the graph is going to be created when acceleration is constant. So I'm going to start with a constant acceleration. You can see the values here. So you can see the curve here, which shows the acceleration, constant acceleration in terms of distance time graph. If I check with velocity time graph, remember this is constant acceleration line and the graph is between velocity and time. So the gradient will consider as acceleration. In terms of acceleration, you can see the graph is simple horizontal parallel line to the time because acceleration is not changed. You can see the acceleration is 10.0 meter per second square. So it is a constant value and is not going to be changed. If we compare all three graphs, you can see in distance time graph in terms of constant acceleration is a curve graph, which is tilted towards the Y axis. Whereas in velocity time graph for constant acceleration is a gradient straight line. And there is a horizontal parallel line to time for constant acceleration. There is no possibility of velocity zero because there is an acceleration which is constant. It means the car is moving. Let's try and compare with others. So you can see another one. And if you notice the acceleration is decreased to one, it is now one meter per second square. So there is new line now acceleration decrease. So you notice in case of acceleration decrease, the gradient is now tilt towards the X axis. Let's try more acceleration to understand much better. Both lines purple and orange will show the constant acceleration. So you can see different kind of acceleration lines according to the values. If the values are high, it's towards Y axis. If values are low, it's towards X axis. This is a graph about motion with constant acceleration. Let's move to our another graph, which is motion with constant negative acceleration. Negative acceleration means the value is going to be decreased 
of the velocity like from high velocity to the lower velocity in terms of distance and time if you talk about constant negative acceleration you can see the curve here it means it's going to be decline the velocity is going to be decrease and the average distance cover is now less let's follow the pattern so this is the first graph and you can see here next let's compare these three constant negative acceleration graph in terms of velocity so in terms of velocity it will come from higher value to the lower value because as i told you it's a constant so there is a proper gradient this is a negative gradient now and it's coming from high velocity to the lower velocity with a particular span of time velocity is going to be decreased in terms of acceleration definitely it is parallel to the timeline because there is no change in acceleration it's constant it's negative but it's constant it means the velocity is going to be decreased but the acceleration is remain constant if you compare all three graphs you can see so this is a distance time graph which is started with a gradient properly straight line and turns towards a curve whereas the velocity time graph is simply decline there is a negative gradient and acceleration is remain constant so i think it's enough for today so thank you very much for listening and watching i hope you enjoyed the video i hope this video is useful for you so take care of yourself and don't hesitate to write an email if you have any question query suggestion and even classes are required take care of yourself meanwhile see you in the next video goodbye